This getting started example demonstrates how to enable open tracing with CamelK. In this example, I will be creating a sequence of API calls in which we will be receiving a request coming in from a RESTful endpoint and then dedicated to two separate applications. One of the applications will be running Quarkus and the other one will be running a simple Java main application, both using CamelK. And then introduce Jaeger to monitor and troubleshoot this microservices based distributed system. Now let's go ahead and set up the environment for the example. Let's create a namespace and then install the operators. We'll start by installing the CamelK operator and then set up the integration platform. After successfully install the CamelK, let's go ahead and install Jaeger. Jaeger is a distributed tracing system that provides a solutions for describing and analyzing cross-process transactions in a distributed deployment model. We'll find Jaeger operator in the operator hub. Go ahead and install Jaeger in the same namespace. And then we'll start the Jaeger instance. After the service up, locate the URL in the route and log in using your OpenShift credential or Kubernetes credential. You won't see anything in Jaeger right now, so let's go ahead and start our CamelK applications. I'll run the first application in Quarkus. Quarkus is a full-stack Java framework where you can have it compile and run on JVMs or build it into a native mode. It optimizes Java and enable faster stop time and a lot less memory consumptions. It also comes with quite a lot of developer-friendly features where it unites the configurations and automatically injects the settings from the property file. Enabling open tracing in CamelK is pretty easy. There are a couple of ways an open tracing tracer can be configured. With the help for Caucus, in my first inventory CamelK application, all I need to do is to configure the Jaeger service location, set up a sampler, setting up the sampler request ratio, and then the name of this application. Well, if you wonder where to find the Jaeger service location, go to service and you'll see it there. Now let's go ahead and then run the application in Quarkus. With CamelK, you don't need to change all the libraries and dependencies for that you've decided to run on, right? So simply enable Quarkus with a single config, then you'll have a running Quarkus app. And this time it's also exposing open tracing data at the same time. Now let's go ahead and start up older service that is responsible for dispatching and then delegating the calls. With the other invoice application, I have written it in Groovy and have it run in a plain Java main mode. To configure open tracing, simply inject the tracer into the context, also define the sampler, sampling request ratio, and the name of the application, and where the Jaeger is located. Once all applications are up, we're ready to fire the call, sending an order call into the order restful endpoint, where it's going to call both my inventory and invoice applications. Let's go back to Jaeger. Now you'll see the order has been made. We can drill down into the call and see the spans of this call. You can clearly see that the call has been made to both inventory and the invoice application and how long it took to run. So if you take a look at the time taken to run the application, the inventory service on Quarkus is a lot faster compared to the normal Java main application, which is running invoice. The reason to have tracing is to be able to trace problems when it occurs. Now we're going to blow up the invoice service, shutting it down so it's no longer available. Let's see what happens when we make the call. Now let's go ahead and stop the invoice service and then issue another call. Now go back to the tracing console on Jaeger. Now we can clearly see that there's a problem from the whole transactions when we're trying to call the invoice service. In summary, I have shown you how to set up open tracing tools, Jaeger, to collect open tracing metrics, and show you how to enable open tracing in Camel by configuring either in a property file or using bean injections. And lastly, how to run Quarkus Camel application with a single config.